seriously. Um, but yeah. So the, the next segment was kind of interesting to me. Jericho and Adam Cole's contract signing. Um, I I gotta say I'll, I'll give Jericho praise for this segment, although sometimes he could talk a little bit um, tongue in cheek, you know, like it doesn't look doesn't sound realistic. But for this one, I thought he did good, and Adam Cole did good too, in my opinion. What what did you guys think? Or I'll start with the uh, flat. Um. Uh, you know, yeah, it was, it was decent. It was probably better than I thought it was going to be. I mean, we know how these contract signings usually go. They're usually, um, you know, somebody's going to end up fighting or something's going to happen. Somebody's going to attack someone. So I was already prepared for that. You know, they're kind of like, you know, they use them as like a gimmick. But as far as this thing goes, yeah, it was, you know, it wasn't bad. They, they were kind of taking it somewhat seriously. And there yeah. was some sort of... There was some sort of serious tones to it that was not you know, kind of surprising because Jericho, the previous couple of weeks has looked uh, like kind of uh, kind of like a you know a buffoon in this whole thing. So yeah, I, don't know. I thought there. Yeah. I didn't know the pay per view was so close. I thought he was going to get some heat back before they got to this match. You know, they've they've already right. destroyed him, and now they, but the uh, <laughs> so then. Um, well, before we move on to the big surprise at, at the end of the segment, Robert, uh, Adam Cole and Chris Jericho's oh promos, pretty good. Oh, yeah, I, I, I loved. Uh, well, they were both good, but I, I especially loved um, Jericho's heel work here. Yes, I'm, yes. I'm I not thought, a bitch. I'm I'm not from Las Vegas. <laughs> 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 you want to hit me? Hit me. <laughs> he was he was great. I thought in this this particular segment. Yeah, um, yeah, I, I liked it. Um, there, there is one other thing I want to say, but it, it's kind of leading up to the next segment, so I'll I'll just let you um, go on to the next part you were gonna say first. Oh well, uh, Adam Cole obviously needs some backup because there's five guys on the JAS, and so they needed to find someone who was just as crazy as all five of them combined. And Jericho goes. Well, who could be as crazy as all five of us combined? <laughs> and obviously, like, uh, I don't know why I didn't know this, but Adam Cole is big, good friends with Sabu. And uh, so he just called up his homie Sabu. And it's random as fuck, but okay. Um, I mean, I'm happy to see Sabu. I, I bet you he's going to take a crazy bump just because he's crazy. But uh, what do you guys think of that? <laughs> I was like, "What the hell? This guy have to do with any of it?" How old is Sabu? It felt random. I was really random. It was out of nowhere. I didn't understand what he had to do with. What does he have to do with any of this? And and what kind of? I mean, how old is he? And what kind of bump can he still take? I I don't. He's gonna take the I, same exact bump with the steel chair flying into the I, fucking. Flying into yeah, a table. It, uh, yes. I found it silly that he was wearing the like the badge, the the, the guest badge or whatever. Like, <laughs> put that in your pocket or something. Man. <laughs> I mean, it's because nobody knows who Sabu is. So if they saw him like walking around the back with, man, they'd be like, I "Hey, mean, man, get I, out of here." I mean, I know Sabu kind of has a cult following amongst, you know, those the ECW crowd in the 90s and, and stuff like that. And I, you know, I, I know he's one that will take crazy uh, spots and go through tables, flaming tables, and shred his forehead, uh, you know, uh, with, you know, with some good, you know, some good blade work and stuff like that. But I don't understand what he has to do with any of this. And what is, how is he going to, how is this old man going to, I don't know. Well, maybe, maybe him and Adam Cole, were, you know, they bumped into each other at a bar or something, or you know, mm -hmm. at a at a at an autograph signing, and they hit it off real good. That's and he's, more likely. Yeah. And he said, "Hey, man, if you ever get into any trouble with with anybody, you know, don't don't hesitate to call me, man. I got your back." You know, and he's like, "All right, man. Thank you, man. Thank you." So maybe that's what happened. <laughs> I think it was just Tony Khan being a mark for the, the 90s wrestling. And, Probably. And just yeah, in they just got to squeeze him in somewhere. Squeeze in Sabu. Like I said, I don't have anything against Sabu, but this was just 
dumb and really random and not more nonsense. Is it dumb, Robert? Are you as loud? Is it dumb, or are you? Can you get excited I, to I, see something? Well, I don't know. I don't know about dumb, but it did feel random. Um, I mean, it's not that I was not that I wasn't happy to see Sabu, but like this just didn't make sense to me. <laughs> Yeah, you know. Well, I'm happy to see Sabu's alive. Yeah. Not only is he alive, bro. Listen, Sabu is all elite, baby. He's gonna be on. <laughs> he's gonna be on the show. He's gonna be a. Yeah. He's gonna be one of the TNT more, more champions. More than just a one time. Oh, you still think it's more than just a one time appearance? <laughs> I don't know. I'm kidding. I don't, I have no idea. Yeah. But oh, okay, yeah. Okay. Oh, you know. Okay, it is what it is. Uh, so we're basically